Recently, a couple of people have asked me to make a guide detailing some ways in which they can find their friends in DayZ. I thought this was a good idea because I can very clearly remember how frustrating it can be meeting up and navigating in general when you're a new player. So in light of that, I've compiled a selection of tips and tricks which should be beneficial to you and your friends when starting out. Although I would like to emphasise that there isn't necessarily a secret to meeting up, as it primarily revolves around your knowledge of the map, which simply comes with experience. But with that said, this video should equip you with some resources and useful information that will help. First and foremost, we have the I Survive DayZ map, which is an external tool that you should absolutely become accustomed with. This map will be your best friend when you're new to the game. It'll not only help you navigate, but will also show you different military loot locations, animal spawns, fruit trees, water pumps, and more. I've placed a link to this map in the description of the video. It's also available as an app for Android and iOS. Upon spawning in, you'll likely be either close to or right beside a town. Outside these towns, you can find road signs with the town's name on. This is where the I Survive map becomes very useful. You can use the map to search for the town once you know the name of it. A very useful feature of the map is that the search bar is able to predict your input. What I mean by this is you can type out the town name with English characters and the map will understand and translate. You can have your friends do the same thing or have them try and read out the sign to you so that you can pinpoint your locations and begin trying to navigate towards each other. Using the road signs is generally going to be your best bet at determining you and your friend's location. Like I said earlier, there's ultimately no real shortcut to meeting up with your teammates, but you can easily figure out your location and make a plan to navigate to the next area. And if you get lost along the way, you can simply repeat the previous steps. As you keep playing and gain experience, you will slowly start using the map less and less. With all that said however, there are still some great navigation tips that you may find very useful and I'll go through some of them now. When you're in towns, you can keep an eye out for train stations, which will also display the town name in large letters. If you're ever not sure where you are, but you can see a railroad, you can follow it to inevitably end up at a train station. The same applies to power lines. These will always lead you to a town eventually, so if you're ever lost, you can follow them. You can also scan surrounding hilltops for cuts in the trees, which are there to allow the power lines to pass through. Throughout the map you can come across these tourist stops where you can find a board with a map on it. The red dot on these maps shows your exact location at the time. Make sure that you always pick up a compass if you find one, that way you'll always know which direction you're heading in. You should use vantage points to scan for surrounding towns. These include hills, radio towers, castles and so on. And finally, I wanted to go over the southern coast spawns on Shinaris, as they're easy to identify and once you know them all, you'll always know which side of the map you're on. If you spawn on the left side of Sherno, towards Belota, you'll be able to see the ruined hotel building to your right. You'll also see apartments looming over the trees in front of you. If you spawn inside Sherno, you'll again be able to see the hotel to your left and the large shipping yard full of coloured containers either in front of you or to your right. If you spawn on the right side of Cherno, you'll still be able to see the shipping yard, as well as this shipwreck. Another identifier is the pointy mountain with the rocks leading all the way down. The spawns in between Cherno and Electro can be identified by the single red roof barn on the right side of the same pointy mountain. At this point, if you face inland and run left along the coast, you'll reach Cherno. If you face inland and run right, you'll reach Electro. If you spawn just on the left of Electro, you will again be able to see the pointy mountain in the distance and the city and dock to your right. If you spawn inside or on the right side of Electro, you'll be able to see the church on the small hill as well as the lighthouse on the island behind. Lastly, we have the Kamishovo spawns, where you'll be able to see the town as well as three small islands in the water behind you. And that covers all of the seven spawns. The reason I wanted to go over these is because Cherno and Electro are the most popular coastal areas and the spawns are simple and easy to learn. Once you know them, you'll always be able to immediately identify which side of the map you've spawned on, cutting out the potential confusion of not knowing where you are. Hopefully this video helped you somewhat. If it did, please consider subscribing for more content similar to this.
Also, if you have any suggestions for another guide, please do leave a comment. Thanks for watching and take care.